I have salutations, this is something fawful. And welcome to the finale of Spyro the Dragon. Also, while I was grinding lives, the power died. It's back on now, but the power died. If the power dies, I lose my TV. That's all I lose, but I lose my TV. Alright, I nasty. Um. Where is it? Okay, I assume I can't hit you yet. A thief! Um. Presumably. Alright. So, um. Nasty's World has, as expected, 500 treasure and no dragons. Okay, and he's already shooting beams at us, which is lovely. Um... But he's got lots of treasure everywhere. Do these beams, like... Theoretically, his beams should be instant kill. I'm... Not in the mood to find out. But, like... If it's the thing... That he was using on the other dragons to, um... Statuify them. Oh, that's a key. You have a key, sir. I need that to progress. Um, I wonder if the other way around there is faster, but either way, um, is he just gonna run all the way around? Ow! Okay, it's not instant kill. Also, I need that key to progress. Alright. Um, chipmunk mode engage. Yeah, first, first and foremost, I need this key. Um, I'm gonna need this key to progress. Uh, alright. Um, I'm gonna need this key to I totally had him there, but just. With a flame with better timing. Got him. Alright, we got our key. So now we can go through this door? I was right. Another key. But, um, does that mean I just chose poorly? It totally does, because I could have just put the key there. Um, unless I need this key here to do something. Um,. I like how nasty strategies just stand barely out of range on a platform that I just need a key to lower. Um. I didn't expect the final boss to be a key chase. To be honest. Um. Okay. But, um, that's what it appears appears to be at the moment. Although I got the key. Alright. Um, that one wasn't actually nearly as hard for me for some reason. Now, do I go over and attack Ganasty? He ran. He's a fast little bugger now, isn't he? I don't know if I would have expected that. That's where I came from, and that's where we're gonna loop around to, I bet. I'm not actually in a hurry. But he's afraid of me! He knows. He knows he's beat. He knows. Beat. Um, you might notice I'm going kind of slowly, considering I think this is either I'm not either. This has to be a running match, um, or not? He's just up there now. Um, unless I was. No, this just seems to be a running match, like a 
run along this harmless path and collect stuff part. Um... Or... Maybe it is a run after Gnasty Gnork and, um... Hopefully not die in the progress. Alright. Nasty. This is your um, supreme strategy, is it? Run like a little weenie. You're afraid of the tiny purple dragon. Despite having a... Or I just had to chase him around there quicker. Either way, he's ran. And I've hit him once. Um... Alright, only two more hits, I presume? Um... This... is on a time limit that I have failed. And that starts the whole freaking sequence over. Um, because I failed one time limit. Good. Oh well. I know for next time. Um, I'll be right back. Yeah, because he has to attack once there. So if you're fast enough, you can get him. Anyway, I'm here. You wanna hurry because there's a hidden time limit here. And I'm dead again.
Um, the hell did he go? Like he vanished immediately. It's like his AI was like, oh, I'm just gonna go backwards. Which is literally impossible for me to ch oh, I didn't get him. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to do another lap now. How exciting. Alright, another attempt at this. Oh, I'm dead. Alright, back yet again. To fail this part yet. Again, I wonder how I'm gonna hilariously fail it this time like that. I sucks! Like, this this seriously sucks. Because, like, this part, to get to that part, is not hard. But it's boring. And it takes a while. Because, like, um... I'm obviously doing... Get off the stupid wall, Spyro. I'm obviously doing bad this time. Um, I might just cut out this rant, honestly. But, um... It, like, no matter, even if you do this extremely efficiently, it takes a little bit. Like, you have to wait for this cutscene, for example, and then you go after this guy, and, like, the earliest you can freaking get him is right here, which I inexplicably didn't, and now I have to go around the, the circle to get another chance at it, and it's just, like, it's the wrong way. Like, I've died maybe twice, or maybe three times, trying, um, in all the times I've gotten the first hit on Gnasty. Which is, like, nothing. And, um... It, he doesn't have any checkpoints. That's been, like, explicitly stated at this point, so... You gotta do this every single time you wanna that okay I died on this form again now I get to start the whole damn thing again um but you gotta do this every single time you want to take those three sec that that tar that one attempt at that one hard part which is Really annoying, I might add. Anyway, he's way faster than me in here. Let's go do these corners quickly, and you can get him. Get the key. Go all the way back. And like, like, as I, I'm probably gonna like put like an a like video length timer in just. To, point out how ridiculous this is. Cause like, yeah, I did that one efficiently this time, but I still have to run all the way back. I think it's faster to go back this way. I don't know. It's safer, that's for damn sure. I don't want to accidentally kill myself like I did in my last attempt before I finally get back. Like, the reason I like, like, the checkpoint system in a platformer is normally fine is because, um, the, um, the segment you have to redo is difficult, not just long. Like, this, I'm barely even paying attention to the screen at this point, and, um, as a result, but I still got it because it's not hard. You just have to do that segment fast enough that he hasn't had time to shoot his laser yet. Anyway, now I'm back here. Now to die inexplicitly because you have to be a seemingly really freaking fast in that part and it's really annoying I already got a game over one so I am there we go that's how you do that segment but it's like I'm not having fun I'm bored and that is like the worst feeling oh and sometimes he does this if you try and be too efficient and as a result guess what 
I have to run this entire lap once to get the damn thing to respawn. Isn't that great? Because I tried to be like too preemptive. So he started running backwards. Now he's all the way over here. And like by the time I trigger him, he's already long freaking gone. So you like, you have to make sure you don't like over predict the damn thing or it'll run backwards and make an impossible jump. It's really annoying. So I had to run around that circle for virtually no reason. It's great. Great boss fight here, like. And the worst part about this all is I'm one third of the way through the fight. Like, when whatever the third phase decides to throw at me, and then I'll screw this up again. I barely ever screw that up. I'm making it look like I screw it up a lot more than I do. And like, game over is a non-issue. I'm kind of annoyed I wasted my time grinding lives, because... Um, game over does literally nothing in the final boss. Like, why even have a freaking life system at this point? I burned your face. Like, I, I, I hit his freaking armor with fire and it hurts him. You know what? Nasty, you win. Not because you're difficult. I mean, you are kind of difficult. But, you know what? You're boring. I'm not having fun. And it's 2.19 a.m. I should stop recording for the day. I thought I was going to just finish this. But I've been going well, all in, which I started back in Dream Reader Weavers, actually. Like, it's Dream Weavers, right? Um... Regardless, I started a while ago, and, um, I was having fun up till nasty. Like, difficult segments in games do not piss me off. People who know me well know this. This, while it is difficult, getting back to it is extremely boring. I don't want to know how long this has been going for. Actually, to be honest, I kind of do. Point is, I'm not having fun. So, um, I'm done. I'll see it when I inevitably come back and finish this episode, but for now, I'm done. You win for now, Nasty. Not because you're hard but because you're one of the worst final bosses I've ever played in terms of entertainment value. Heck. I think you're only the second final boss ever to make me rage quit. Keep that in mind. Only second one. I Rage quit, not just quit. Rage quit. Because I have quit on other final bosses because I was out of time. But this is the... Only the second one ever that I'm quit because I'm not having fun. Anyway. Something Fawful? I have sign out. Well, except I don't. Because this isn't the end of an episode. He thinks this might be the post game. Anyway, I'm back. And I'm going to beat Nasty Nork now. Or, yeah, it's in the Spyro 2 finale of, um... Nasty's rage or my rage, I guess. Um, let's see if I remember what I'm doing. But long story short, um, I forget what I'm doing because it's been a while. But um, I'm now playing with an SNES controller. Which is going to make it so I can play better. Instead of the Logitech terrible D-pad land. So, um, that should help. Of course, I'm rusty as all get out. So, it's gonna take me a bit, but... Because I haven't played in a while, if that wasn't obvious. This isn't recorded 
anywhere near the rest of this episode. So there's that. Um, now remember, with the other one, the guy in here, you need to be very careful to not try and cut him off immediately because he'll glitch out and go backwards and then be impossible to get. I remember that much very clearly from my um, previous escapades with this guy that you don't want to let that happen. I'm not sure how he dodged that, but he's not going to dodge this, so we're good. Um, anyway, I don't even start in a timer for this recording session because there's no point. Okay, and now we chase Gnasty himself. Now, I'm forgetting the path. Good. Alright, start from the very beginning. I like how I'm already being quiet, like that's the thing to do in this recording already. Even though I literally just started. He's way ahead of me though. I totally messed that up because I didn't press the fire button in time. But that um proves that you really don't have to try as hard as I was the other day to keep up with the guy. Making this much easier than I was making it out to be. Which is good, because he's like way ahead of me right now. But, um. He's going to. Yes, anyway, that's one hit. Out of, unfortunately, I was spoiled. I now know it's out of two, and I'm dead. You can um, thank the Revolution D, my IRL good friend, for the spoiler. No one else spoiled it for me, just him. Well, actually, he didn't spoil with two hits. He, um, but I I'm guess. Let me rephrase what he spoiled, because he didn't actually say it was two hits. That's just kind of how I interpreted his spoiler. Was um, specifically that that lava section is basically the end which I didn't know of course so we just need to do that lava section which just means we need to do this section which um should be easier now that I realize you don't need to rush as much as I was last time I don't think also because I have the joys of a good d-pad which is something I did not have last time. And it is nice. You know, for such a big guy, you sure are kind of a pussy. I just realized something about this. That's actually going to make it easier than I think it is. I need to just be calm and collected there is what it comes down to. And as I get better at this part, that's not going to be as bad. Because I have a good controller now. And so I don't expect to get as annoyed as I did last time. Because this isn't that hard to get to that part. I only died the one time and that was because I was being over frivolous. And I um, don't expect to die that many times before this segment. Now that I am warm back up and because I feel very extremely comfortable with this D-pad. Because it's my Super Nintendo controller. It is my favorite controller. If there's a controller I can do something with this with, it's this one. 
Not whatever that other one I was... Okay, that was me being frivolous again. I shouldn't do that. Alright, we're back. Um, to this segment. Which is difficult. Okay. We have made it. Um, that was... Dom wasn't kidding. Sorry I took so long. I kind of forgot about you. What about Ganasty Ganork? Nasty Nork? He's toast. So now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Well, mostly. I still got some treasure to pick up. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. All right. And now we get credits? Yep. Okay, well, um... That took... 15 minutes. Not bad at all, but um, this game! Good game! Really disappointing final boss, but good game. Like, the bosses, they, they, um, Spyro 2 is definitely the better game. Um, especially the bosses. Also, I just realized I don't have my pop filter set up right now. Oops. I'll fix that, don't worry. I'll fix it. Um, not for the this game though, probably, because I'm gonna finish this off because I am so close now. <laughs> but yes, um, good game. Second one's definitely better. Um The bosses in this game are its weakness, because they're not really bosses, they're just kinda like levels that are modified. This game had a lot of levels though, like the second game had a lot less levels, but they felt more fleshed out. That being said, I do feel like this game might have had more content in a way. I don't know, it's hard to say. And then there's also the third game, which I still have to play, and I will play one day. Not yet, though. I'm... I know the first three Spyro games are where it's at for Spyro. Although, apparently, there might be a decent one on the GameCube from what I've been led to believe. Although, it's, um, pretty broken for speedruns. I, I don't know if it's any good, though. I just know there's a 3D one on the GameCube. But, the, um, the original three are apparently... It's like Crash, in a way. Like, for some reason, Sony sold the franchises that made its first system. I don't entirely get it, but sure. That'd be like if after the NES, Nintendo sold Mario. Like, that that's what it, it seems like to me. It's weird. But, um... <laughs> oh, that message. Excellent. <laughs> okay, they added even more. Norks were harmed, too. Returning home. Um... Is that the entire credits? Yes. Anyway, this is something thoughtful, and I have sign out. See you all in the next one.